What's up guys, thanks for tuning in. I wanted to bring you guys a little video clip of my female emperor scorpion feeding on a pinky. So this is the first time she ever takes a pinky actually. And she's about double the size of one. And if you can actually look in there, you'll see her mouth parts actually feeding on the pinky. And yes, it's incredibly graphic. Um, I do believe she's stung it a few times, maybe. I'm not sure, though. But it looks like it's got some sting wounds on it. And it stopped struggling already. So, forgive the picture because it's pretty close. When she burrows underground, she will um, always open up a viewing window for me. And it's pretty awesome because then I get to see everything she does under inside of her burrow. So, she never really seems bothered by it. Um, and I imagine if she was, she wouldn't do it. But it's pretty cool. You can see her actually feeding on it inside of her burrow. So, if you see like these little things, they're not pincers, that's actually her mouth parts. Um, I'll try to do another video later about it, but I'm sure if you've ever looked at a scorpion, or if you guys go on here and just check out some other videos with, like, just looking dead on a scorpion, you'll see that its mouth has, like, these two little, it looks almost like two smaller pincers on the mouth, like two arms, right side by side, like a tarantula's fangs would be, except these things don't end in just one fang, they kind of have, like, pincers on the end. And then what they'll do is they'll pretty much take those and claw into their uh, prey item and bring it back into their mouths and just swallow down chunks at a time. So, uh, or not chunks at a time, but I guess they do the whole arachnid thing where they digest the animal internally and then they pretty much just guzzle it down in gulpfuls of soup. I guess that's the best way you could describe it. So, yeah. <clears throat> that's exactly what you see going back and forth right there. It's the female scorpion's mouth. And if you see uh, right there towards the right of the carcass, she uh, she's holding the pinky with her claw and eating it. Uh, she's backing up now. Sorry about that, guys. So, um... Actually, no, she's getting into better position here. Cool. So you can see her claws there. And... So, yeah. Not sure what she's doing. She's probably going to back up in there and just take her time eating. So if you can kind of see parts of her, she's pretty fat. Um... You can see her kind of bulging out through her armor. The fat girl. She's about double the size of that pinky, but it's pretty cool. Because what she, at least what mine does, and a lot of people say they um, don't exhibit the behaviors, but I've found it to actually exhibit a lot of behaviors. Um, what she does is she burrows under. So she kind of has like a split level house. Um, what I'll initially do with this, it's a small critter keeper, as you guys can tell. Um, let me focus that a little better. There we go. So that's a small critter keeper. I had her in one of the biggest ones you could possibly get. But this is all she does. So it was a rather wasted effort keeping her in a big space at this time. Because all she'll do is burrow. She'll make a small den where she can move around in. And then she'll pretty much just stay there. And she won't come out. Um, she'll only come out to eat. And that's usually only to that little doorway of her den there. After that, she doesn't come out. And what she does is she burrows out this den under. So she goes all the way to the bottom until she can't dig anymore. And then she'll come to the side. And she always makes a viewing window, which is cool. Because then I can look right into her burrow and see what she's doing. Make sure she's okay without disturbing her. And it's awesome. So um, she does this and she stays there. And she only comes out very seldomly. Um, as you can see, it's incredibly damp. And I keep it that way just for the humidity. Emperor scorpions 
are kind of a more tropical species, so they really do like the humidity. So I always spray her down and uh, make sure there's enough water in there. I have a water dish there full of water. And yes, believe it or not, when emperor scorpions love to drink water, they actually, she comes out and drinks quite often. So it's pretty cool. But that's about all she does. Then she'll go one round around the tank and go right back into her burrow. Um, most of them are pretty calm and docile species. That's why you see them commonly kept in the pet trade. Mine, unfortunately, is incredibly vicious. Um, she just does not like to be handled in any way, shape, or form. And she will completely uh, try to murder you if you pick her up. So, I haven't tried, but a cousin of mine dared to try and almost got a finger full of tail. So, yeah, not to mention the pinchers. They can pinch incredibly hard. So, yeah. Hoping as she gets bigger and older, more confident, that she will come around. So you can kind of look in there. You can see her parts moving as she's eating this pinky. So it's right there in her mouth. She's holding it with the other claw. Yeah, I'm sure the light's bothering her. So... Let me try to get in there a little more for you guys, just so you can see what she's doing. I'm really sorry for the muddy picture, but... Yeah, she is mutilating that little pinky carcass. You can kind of see her mouth parts glistening and going in and out of the body. She's completely feasting on this thing. Oh yeah, there she comes. There so yeah, I keep her in this small container um, because she really is not active at all. Um, it's very rare if ever, and trust me, I stay up till like 3, 4 in the morning quite often. She never comes out of there. So um, I just keep her in here, and my style of doing it is just exactly like this, a couple inches of substrate on the ground and then put the Heidi log in there all the way to the back so that you have a kind of a viewing portal on the end cover it completely in dirt, make sure it's like another it's almost like a second level up here so you kind of have like two floors, you got the den in there and then what she does is she goes underground and she just starts burrowing out, burrowing out, burrowing out and she just takes clumps and clumps of dirt out of here and just removes them all the way out the door and every morning for sure until she's done, you'll find little piles of dirt. I mean, she covered her entire water dish the first couple nights and then uh, had to take that out of there, pat down the ground again and put it on top. And she slowly but surely raised the level of this a little bit, probably a good half an inch or an inch with all the dirt she removed. So yeah, and that's all she does. And then she just waits for food. That's it. So... Hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Um, try to catch a little more in depth of her eating, but yeah, it's my Emperor Scorpion. She's really cool, just incredibly aggressive. I don't know why. Probably because she's small still. So this is her first pinky, by the way. I'll try to get better videos so you guys can see her. She's a fat girl. And yes, she's confirmed female, so I have a male do an update on him. He's actually over at my cousin's house, so that's going to be her bow for later. Mm. Yeah, I can't focus in on that, it's too close. And she's kind of backing out of the light. And just so you guys know, all that wiggling around, that's her eating it. That is not the pinky. It's not alive anymore. It's pretty much dead. 
That is actually her wiggling it around and digging into its body and eating it. If you see those lumps coming out of the back of the carcass here, that's her mouth parts digging into the body. So yeah, it's pretty graphic stuff. Not the greatest picture, but you guys can definitely see what's happening. You can even see her mouth parts back there moving. Yeah, but the light bothers them, so that's exactly why she keeps moving away. Yeah, that's the, um, that's my female being her. Incredibly bothered by everything, especially being videotaped. Alright guys, so I don't know how much longer you guys want to keep trying to watch this, but uh, I think we're pretty much finished because she's not going to give me any more good shots and I don't want to make that pinky go to complete waste by disturbing her too much further. Then she might just stop eating it altogether, so I'll let you guys go for now. Thanks for tuning in and stay tuned for more videos and updates. Peace out guys. Take it easy, and good luck with all your future herp and invert endeavors. This is Frankie. Have a great one.